In the previous lesson, we looked at actually installing Active Directory certificate services. In this lesson, we're going to look at actually configuring an enterprise certificate authority. Now, remember, if this is your organization and you're setting this up, you probably do want a root CA. And if you're medium to large size, you probably want this to be offline. So you would want to install this on a non-domain joined machine. You would create that root CA. You would then have it online for a brief period while you went ahead and created some subordinate CAs, which would have their certificate signed by that root CA. You would export out that root CA certificate, keep it somewhere very, very safe and secure, and then turn that machine effectively off once you have those subordinate CAs. But in this example, I'm just going to go ahead and create an enterprise CA within my Active Directory. And this is going to be the root CA. So I've already installed it. Now it's telling me I need to go ahead and actually configure it. Now, before I did this configuration, there is a file called capolicy.inf that doesn't exist and it's completely optional, but you can go ahead and create this file and it will actually populate a lot of the information needed during the wizard. It additionally lets you configure settings that you can't configure using the graphical interface. This is a great article that actually goes through and describes the syntax of this file and some of the most useful settings. So go ahead and take a look at this. One thing that's interesting, notice on a root CA for like a corporation, its certificate is valid for 20 years. This isn't something you want to keep having to renew. There's a lot of work involved. So its certificate is maybe valid for 20 years. There's also examples of other files we can create for the subordinate. But it's a very complex syntax. There's a lot of options available. So take some time to see what the actual options available are and what might work best for your environment. But I'm not going to use this in my example. I'm just going to go ahead and create this via the wizard. So it's giving me credentials I'm going to use for this certificate. And then I want to configure my certificate authority. And now I can select this is an enterprise CA. Now I have this option because this is a member of a domain. If it wasn't a member of a domain, all I could create would be a standalone CA. But I'm going to create an enterprise CA, so it's going to integrate with Active Directory. And it's going to give me a lot of options that I couldn't have with a standalone CA. For example, that auto enrollment. So what is my type? I'm the first CA, so I'm going to be a root CA. But if I already had a root CA and I wanted to create these as subordinates, I would say this is a subordinate CA. I notice it enables this certificate request which I could then export out to a file. I would then load that into my standalone root CA, which would then take the request, generate a certificate, and then bring it back into this server. Because I'm a root, it's going to sign itself. I need to create a new private key. I'm going to accept all the default for the cryptography. What's the name? So the name for this is basically the name of the server, and then it's within my domain. Now my validity period is gonna vary depending on your configuration. But for now, I'm just gonna accept the default five years. It's gonna write it out to this file system. And it's gonna go ahead and create this CA. So that's done. I now have an enterprise CA. And if I go to my tools, certification authority, I can now see I have that CA. And I can start looking at all the different certificates. I can give certificates out. I can see my templates. I could go and manage. And we're going to talk about all these things in more detail. Now, if I was to actually go ahead and look at the certificates of this machine, so I'll add remove snapping. I'm going to add certificates for my computer account. You'll see I have this new certificate. And this is for all issuance policies or application policies. It was issued to and issued by itself. So it's signed itself. My certification path just shows me. So this is that certificate that I'm signing for myself that's valid for five years. So this was generated when I ran that wizard. So that's it. I now have a certificate authority. And what I'm now going to do in the next lesson is really talk through just some of the changes that were made to Active Directory as part of enabling this enterprise CA.